Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How are we doing today? Hopefully, you guys are all pretty well out there. Today's video, I want to talk about a few different things today, because I got a lot to bring up and to talk about. So, today is the 15th, tomorrow is the 16th, and if you guys knew what that day is, it's a pretty awesome day. Not only is it the second episode of Loki, but also Kenobi Drops. So, a lot of cool stuff today. Um, today's video, we're going to talk about some things that are not really about Kenobi's unlock and his cool event, because I don't have that available to show you today. But, we're going to talk about other fun things, right? So, let's go and talk about that. I got a few different things to bring up today. Um, first things first is Relic 9. So, this is not the right thing I want to show. It's the right year. So, as we can see here, um, we got actually a JMK looking at us right there in the face, looking pretty hot and sexy. Um, Relic 9. So, they did they did have these posts and uh, screenshots with Relic 9s in them with the new UI update. And by the way, about the update, I, I kind of like it, but kind of don't like it. It's like one of those things where I don't really know how I feel just yet, but I feel like over time, I will be just fine with the whole update and how it looks with the management and the screens, all that sort of stuff. But it's just going to take some time to get used to. Um, anyways, with Relic 9, they did say that it's not coming out yet because it's like a bit preemptive. It's a bit too early. They say at least for two more months. They said at least a couple more months. That's, that's the right wording was a couple of months. So a couple is a two in my books, right? So unless it's a different in CG books, we don't know. But usually it's two. So a couple months after that passes, we're looking at maybe around fall and fall time. Maybe we're going to get some Relic 9. So I'm not too sure how long it's been since we got first Relic 8s with a Challenge Rancor. But I think Relic 9 is definitely going to happen. I feel like it's going to happen all the way up until Relic 10. That's just me thinking. But it's really cool to see this right now in a screenshot. So you can kind of prep for the future. Kind of know what we're getting ourselves into with more relics, relic levels, all that sort of stuff. So Relic 9, Master Kenobi looking at us right there. Very sexy. World's first, maybe? We'll have to see. Um, but anyways, there's just some things to think about. So on that topic with Relic and Relic 9s, Relic 8s, you already have right now the Challenge Rancor we just brought up a little bit ago. And that is getting Relic 8 pieces. So I know a lot of these raids are a bit older. I mean, pretty much all of them are old. Um, the next one, that would be the, you know, after the Rancor, that's in terms of how old it is that we've gotten updated to some extent. You know, how we had the old pit raid, but now we have the challenge tier pit. Well, the next one I can see being the challenge tier would be the tank takedown. So if they want to go with more relic levels, I think it'd be a really fun idea to make another challenge tier for this tank takedown as we got with the challenge tier Rancor. So if they were to go that route, that'd be awesome. I think that'd be really cool getting some more Relic 9s, some more gear pieces to help us out getting more Relics in general, and just some more gear pieces, right? But also, I'm not sure about you guys, but I would love it if we just got a new raid completely, whether it's a ship raid, whether it's combined ships with characters or whatever it may be, just anything. I think that'd be the better play, but we'll have to see. I think, I think though, it's pretty safe to say we'll probably get a challenge tank takedown at some point in time, right? Anyways... Relic 9 is not happening right now, but they will probably be happening in the fall. That's just a pretty safe guess and assumption. So the next part here I want to go over and talk about is another thing that was kind of dropped a little bit. A bit of a leak. Uh, not really a leak. It's it's a full-on freaking post. Not a leak at all. <laughs> but it's about summoned summon units in raids. So um, this is uh, a post just happened recently, just came out recently. It said that, I haven't seen this myself, but it said there is un unintentionally allowing summon units in raids. But they're going to be reverting this change in the tomorrow update, which will be today's video. On today's video is that today uh, for the whole Kenobi unlock. And they're going to change it with some hot fix or some update, right? But they did say right here, this line, it says, this has not been fully tested as it was not supposed to be in this release and may cause issues during battle. So it said, it's not supposed to happen in this release, but... In some future release, it will happen for sure. So, by summon units, when I'm thinking of summon units, I'm thinking about uh, the Brute with the, G the Geo Brute Alpha. We're thinking about the Arc's turret. We're talking about Mon Mothma's extra soldier that she brings in, right? So, something like to that extent. But also, I was thinking another thing here was what if we were able to, like, I I'm sure this is a 
pretty far-fetched idea and thinking here. But, like, what if we can, like, bring in somebody else's character, like a borrow a hero? I don't think that's what it means, though. But that would be a very cool idea, to say the least. But I I'm pretty sure what it means by summon units is just those few characters or few summon units that we have in game um, with other characters so pretty simple stuff there nothing too crazy um uh, and then uh what else do we want to talk about for today oh kenobi how can we how can we not talk about kenobi man we gotta talk about kenobi a little bit right so kenobi um we have no idea what his gear looks like for his gear requirements whatsoever like no we no clue whatsoever we don't even know but if you want to go off of, uh, let's bring it up. If you want to go off and look at Ahsoka Tano's kit, the new commander Ahsoka, we already know her. We already know her uh, her gear requirements. So if we come over here to .gg, you can see a lot of the gear requirements right here. 250 carbs, 250 Kairos that are the shock prods, the most annoying ones in my opinion to get. And you got some cuffs. Nothing too crazy. Um, so this is, if you think about it in terms of either a Galactic Legend or a Journey Guide or just some big type of character, this is pretty. Commander Soka is definitely a big boy character, so that is still a good, a good chunk of gear for a Commander Soka. But if we're thinking about a, a, a GL, a Galactic Legend, that's probably going to be around the same, maybe even a bit more. But now reading that, that is not even the right. That's not even the right carbs. That's the Mark Four. Mark, I think it's Mark Three. That's like right here. All right. So actually, it's even fewer than I thought. <laughs> so it's really just about the the Kairos, as it usually has been. Um, so. If we're thinking about it in, in terms of gear for a, a new Kenobi, we'll probably even see it today as this video is live. Um, I don't think it's going to be that crazy of a gear. Maybe it is. Maybe it's going to be like 400 plus Kairos for just like the shock prods, maybe even some more of the, the computers. But like, I, I can guarantee right now from looking at his kit and how strong of a character he is and how he will be, I think it's going to be crazy, crazy high gear. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, that's kind of about the gear. Um for potentially Kenobi, right? But I'm like, I'm like so hyped right now. Also, a side note, if you guys are going to be either getting Kenobi unlocked in some way or uh, maybe a whale out there getting Kenobi, doing the, the event, please hit me up in you know, Discord, in comments. I would love to kind of get some footage to be able to show with the community out there because I'm pretty sure Arnold and Cubs will have that already by themselves. So it would be kind of nice. I know I'm going to get him done eventually, but just not like right right now. But he will be happening in the next month or so for me to unlock. But if you guys want to help speed the process up for me and my channel to help show some cool videos and some cool content regarding Kenobi, then let me know. I would love to kind of use that footage or whatever it is to, to show with people and to help them out a little bit, right? So uh, next up is Kenobi's free-to-play counters. And honestly, guys, just from looking at it in theory crafting a bit, I don't really see anything unless it's a GL counter. Um, I have been thinking day in and day out about this. I've been having late night thoughts, dreams even, nightmares too, about non-GL counters to this Kenobi. And I, I can maybe see Vader. And I'm saying only a maybe just because if you come back to his kit for Kenobi, this dude would be stopping on his leadership, all TM manipulation. It says right here on his, uh, his leadership. Enemies and allies are immune to turn meter manipulation. That means both gaining and losing TM. So like... Vader, with his uh, his Watts tech, he will not be getting any TM. And Watt is a pretty pretty uh, significant character, pretty important character to say the least, with his techs that he gives out, the weapon tech. And if you don't get that TM, that is going to be hurting a lot. Um, but with me saying that, I am very certain that a certain team is out there already that can counter a Kenobi, even if we're talking about the best team out there for Kenobi. I can still see Vader killing it. And I'll tell you why. It's because of Vader's lead. Vader lead is a strong freaking lead still in the game to this day. Um, even more so with GL counters. Because with his lead, is he's very dependent him himself as a kit, as a character, with debuffs. And, you know, adding more debuffs, some more damage with his calling blade and dealing more damage, right? With those, those big calling blade throws and, and saber tosses. So, with his leadership, not only do you have TMR, but... Me saying that the Kenobi will be immune to TMR effects, but the biggest thing here is more offense, but also keeping damage over times so whenever they expire. So you're going to have an infinite amount of, of dots as long as Kenobi is, or as long as Vader is on the field alive. So having those uh, those opportunities to apply debuffs, whether it's with Wasta, whether it's with Vader, whether it's with anybody that can apply debuffs in general, I think it's going to be very important to have Vader lead to counter any bit of a GL. 
for Kenobi. Because if you are thinking about it this way, if you are not able to get TM or lose TM, you want to have something that's very steady going. Steady in, in the terms of a counter, right? Um, that doesn't rely on TM effects. Like troopers, for instance, are going to be atrocious here. Um, you can maybe think about a counter regarding Jedi. Maybe a very fast team that gets out, out of the gate and can, can do some big hits, reduce their cooldowns or whatever it may be, right? Like maybe some J.K.R., some Revan, some old Ben, and then Gas coming in with the big hits, increasing cooldowns. Maybe that's going to be a great counter too. But I still think when it comes to Vader, Vader has been able to counter all GLs, all four so far. And I can almost guarantee you he'll be able to counter a Kenobi, but just in a different, a different format, a different, a different team composition that you're going to have to create, right? So I cannot wait actually for people in my shard to get this guy unlocked so I can test out for you guys because... I still think the whole Empire team can still handle it very handsomely. Like, Vader lead with with a Thrawn's Fracture. Like, those two things right there, guys, are huge. Do you guys know how huge a Fracture is still in this game? Thrawn is one of the best characters in the game. You guys already know that. But you have those two. You go to the extent of adding more people in here. Maybe some more more uh, more debuffs, more some more AoEs. But really, in my opinion, with Vader, having some more people that can can reduce uh, his own cooldowns to get more debuffs out on the field and just like some more assisting. Maybe Watt is still great here because with his tech, whenever somebody uses a special, he still does call them into assist with uh, more debuffs being applied out of turn with Watt is and how Watt is, right? But, you know, for free-to-play standpoint, I feel like that is one of the few counters that will be very huge as a free-to-play player countering a potential Kenobi. But if you want to just kind of go to a very... A very easy go-to counter. I can almost assure you, if you have the Emperor, he can counter that Kenobi. Because the Emperor can counter really every guy, every GL in the game. He's a very great GL. Especially if you have him modded properly. Full health, he can't die. Give him some tech, give him some armor, Beskar from the armorer. You're, go you're, just, you're good to go. So, that's just a couple different uh, different thoughts there. Theory crafts, whatever it may be. I'm not sure if the Emperor countering Kenobi is even a theory craft, but it's a thought, right? But yeah, guys, I cannot begin to explain how excited I am for this GL Kenobi. On my account, I am four off. I need one more bit of gear for Bo-Katan for gear 13. And I'm just needing the, the data. So hopefully you guys are pretty close like I am. Um, again, if you guys are going for Kenobi in any way about the event or you're, you're for sure going to have him unlocked, let me know down below in the comments because I would love, or even in Discord, I would love to share that with others in the on my YouTube channel about, you know, being able to show off Kenobi in any way. But that's probably about it. It's really cool to see this game growing. This is a huge UI update. It seems like it's very t tailored to these newer players to help them out, kind of figure out what's what in the game, make it a bit nicer, a bit more smooth looking. I, I, I dig it. I think I dig it. We'll have to see. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, so, so excited for Kenobi. Probably going to go and watch Arnold stream because he's going to be going for it. Arnold is my, he's my man for that kind of stuff. Getting stuff day one. That's Arnold for you. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a like, share it around, and sub if you guys have not. We're trying to hit our 15k sub goal, guys. And if we're going to be hitting 15k, guess what? I will be giving away a hyperdrive yet again. So please sub if you guys have not yet. That'd be super awesome of you. Have a great day out there, guys. Until next time, though, I will see you later. Peace out and have a good one. See you guys.